Hi, my name is Jingan Liu from Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering at Rice University. Today, I would like to talk about a method we developed that can construct physical descriptors. Nowadays, we have a great amount of data and a rich many of machine learning algorithms to build up predictive models, though it is already very useful. As a scientist, we care more about how we can derive scientific knowledge from these models. So here's a common approach. First, we can collect the primary features and then do feature engineering to sample as many features as possible. Then we can use our data to do the feature selection to identify meaningful descriptors. And those descriptors is then used to construct the predictive model. Since we know uh, what is the explicit functional form in this predictive model, we can easily understand the relationship between features and response and derive the signs behind this data. However, all features are generated from a small feature space. So they're actually highly correlated. In addition, the huge amount of features also makes feature selection methods hard to identify the true features. Therefore, the predictive model is often composed of both positive features and is and resulted uh, in overfitting. So here we propose another workflow to overcome this people. Instead of doing feature engineering first, we use a feature selection method called Bayesian Additive Regression Trees, BART, to screen for meaningful features. Then we do the feature engineering. And followed by that, we do another feature selection with BART and we can do it over and over again. So once the derived features are linearly correlated with the response, we switch to lasso to do the final feature selection. This approach uses feature selection and feature engineering iteratively, so we call it IBART. As demonstrated here, IBART has significantly uh, reduced the size of feature space from more than a million to less than a thousand. Finally, we use a data set studying the metal oxide interaction to compare the performance between IBART and other methods. We found that IBART has a lower validation error even in high dimension. Additionally, when we compare the computational time, you can see that IBAR is a clear winner that takes less than five minutes in average with only one core compared to other methods has to take more than hours. So in summary, we develop a new machine learning method, IBART, and can help us to derive meaningful descriptors with less computational costs. Thanks for your attention.